Hi, I'm Nick and I like comics. And I'm Adam and I know comics. Welcome to another episode of Imperious Arcs, where we cover story arcs and other comic related tidbits to better inform and nerdify the world. The Supergirl TV show just around the corner, we thought we would talk a little about the history of the character. Interestingly enough, we found out that there are at least three main continuity Supergirls that exist. Kara Zor-El, Supergirl, first appeared in Action Comics number 252 in 1959. Her home city of Argo on the planet Krypton survived the initial explosion of the planet. A whole city? How? Who, who even knows? The city was then destroyed by radioactive meteorites, or kryptonite. Her father sent her to Earth via rocket ship to be raised by her cousin Superman. He drops her off at an orphanage. What a great guy. Yeah, Superman was kind of a jerk back then. She was then adopted and went by the name Linda Lee. Eventually, she grows into a hero of her own right and wore a wig at school to disguise herself and not be recognized as Supergirl. Because of Earth's yellow sun, she possessed pretty much all the same powers as Superman. Flight, super strength, super speed, invulnerability, heat rays, x-ray vision, super hearing. Okay, you get the point. She's awesome. In the 1980s, DC decided it was time to rebrand a lot of things and Superman was one. They decided he needed to be the only surviving Kryptonian, so they killed off Supergirl during Crisis on Infinite Earths, then erased her from everyone's memory. Harsh. Yeah. But the DCU wouldn't go very long without a Supergirl. And Superman number 16 in 1988 is the first appearance of Matrix, a being created by an alternate reality Lex Luthor who wasn't evil. Matrix was created to stop a pocket universe, General Zod. She looked identical to Lex's old crush, Lana Lang. Matrix possessed all of Lana's memories due to Lana's synaptic pathways being copied into Matrix. Lex had also patterned her physiology to resemble Superman's, whom he had seen by using one of his many inventions to look into the mainstream universe. Like Superman, Matrix was superhumanly strong and fast and could fly, but she also had the powers of shape-shifting, telekinesis, and cloaking. Invisibility. She was a lot like Martian Manhunter. Matrix wore a version of Superman's uniform, shapeshifted into a young blonde woman, and fought General Zod as Supergirl. When brought into the main DC universe, she was raised by Clark Kent's parents, and they called her May. Sometime later, she is fused with a dying girl named Linda Danvers, and they become essentially the third incarnation of Supergirl, the Earth Angel of Fire. In 2004, DC brought the last Lady of Krypton back in Superman Batman number 8 through 13 in the Supergirl from Krypton arc. Her origin is changed a little bit to show that she left Krypton when Superman did, but she was a young teenager. She was supposed to arrive on Earth when Kal-El, Superman, did to help raise the baby boy, but because her ship was knocked off course, she flew through space a lot longer than Superman had to. Uh, by the time she made it to Earth, young Kal-El was a full-grown Superman. Because physics. So this is the origin they're using for the upcoming Supergirl TV show on CBS. Now there are plenty of other incarnations of Supergirl that are noteworthy, but we just don't have the time to really dive in. Characters like Power Girl, who's an alternate universe Supergirl who grows up into her own super personality, and all the what-if style universes that have Supergirls like the time Jimmy Olsen wished the Supergirl into existence thanks to a magic shard. In the New 52 origin of Supergirl, it's very similar to the 2004 relaunch of the character. But if you'd like to read about her origins, check out Supergirl Zero and Supergirl Secret Origins. In fact, when she lands on Earth, she is more powerful than Superman due to her escape pod accidentally circling the sun for nearly two decades. If you like this explanation of the Supergirls of the main DCU, please let us know. Comment below what Supergirl stories you've read, or let us know if you're excited for her TV show. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Until next time, I'm just going to go sunbathing in hopes of achieving Supergirl-level strength. Or more likely, you'll just get skin cancer. And die. Probably. And then I'll fly away. <laughs>